In 2010, Minecraft's creator Notch announced on his Twitter that he had a special surprise in store for players on April Fool's Day. He claimed that he was planning to announce a 4D version of the game as a prank, but he was unable to follow through with it as he was in the process of moving and it didn't give him enough time to actually pull it off. Now, despite the prank never actually seeing the light of day, it sparked a soon-to-be famous tradition for Minecraft to release special updates or announcements on April Fool's Day every single year. The following April Fool's Day in 2011 saw the launch of a fake Minecraft store that players could access by clicking on a locked chest in the game. The chest would prompt them to visit the Minecraft website, which featured 16 items for sale, each with a very creative name and description. Some of the items were priced at outrageous amounts, like the secret grief for identity for $155 and the response from the support team for $494. For those who went as far to try and actually buy an item, they would click the proceed to checkout button only to be meted with a screaming velociraptor from Jurassic Park, and also adding $10,000 or more of items to the cart would cause a seizure warning to pop up. 2012 also saw an interesting change of events as Notch announced that he was releasing a new game completely separate to Minecraft called Mars Effect. The announcement was accompanied by a cinematic trailer that caught many off guard, but as the trailer progressed it became very apparent that the game was just a prank. The game itself was actually a real project that Notch had been working on, and it was just the name Mars Effect that was supposed to be a prank, although the game was never actually finished. This was also the only ever year that the April Fool's prank had nothing to do with Minecraft, and when it came to the 2013 April Fool's update, they made sure not to disappoint. On April 1st, 2013, the Minecraft community was buzzing with excitement as the creators of Minecraft Mojang had announced the release of Minecraft 2.0. The announcement promised a new and improved version of the game that would bring blocky simulation games to the next level. For dedicated fans, this was big news and many were eager for a change bigger than the updates that had been coming out. It turned out, however, that the announcement was just an elaborate April Fool's Day prank that was hyped up by the developers, and Minecraft 2.0 was really just an update to the already existing game which was handed out to a couple YouTubers to showcase to the public. The update also included some very strange changes, such as a TNT slab called the Ethos Slab, which upon exploding would spawn anvils that fell from the sky. This was a reference to the popular Minecraft YouTuber Ethos Lab, who was very well known for trapping people with anvils in Minecraft's early days. The update also added coal blocks and tinted glass, which were intended as a joke and did not exist at the time. Of course, as we know now, these were both added later into the game. The fake 2.0 also included some new mobs such as horses and ponies, which were actually just textured versions of pigs and cows. It also changed the wither to turn pink and used a different recipe to build it. The pink wither was classified as a hostile mob, though its behavior was not hostile whatsoever, and it would spend most of its time growing roses and other flowers, as well as healing the surrounding mob. While the hype around Minecraft 2.0 had ended up just being a hoax, it actually did have a lot of value in showcasing potential new features that could be added to the game, and more importantly, it set the bar for all future April Fool's pranks. Moving into 2014, Mojang decided to take a more passive approach, as they posted on their official blog that Minecraft's famous villager skins had taken over the game's skin server. This caused every player's skin to be changed to look like a villager for the entire day, and players who logged on were forced to use the skin and were unable to change it in any way. To further mess with players, Mojang also added new villager sounds to the game and updated the in-game music. Of course, on April 2nd, everyone's skins went back to normal and it was like nothing ever happened. But players weren't able to move on from some updates so easily, and the best example of this is the April Fool's update for 2015. There was a lot of hype and anticipation around this update as players were waiting for the big release of 1.9. But it seemed Mojang wasn't exactly ready to give it out as they dropped the Love and Hugs update, also known as version 15W14A. At first glance, the fake update seemed like a legitimate announcement for version 1.9 of the game, and for those who paid attention to detail, it actually kind of was. So what exactly did this fake update entail? Well, for starters, it replaced the health bar with a love meter that filled up when the player took damage or left-clicked on mob. Once the meter was full, players would unlock a game called Minescreeper, which was essentially just Minesweeper in Minecraft. Other prank changes included replacing the video settings and the menu options with blank spaces, changing clouds and particle effects to be hearts, and adding a new boat made of obsidian that sank instead of floating. Useful, right? Now, despite this update being a major letdown of players, as it was clear clearly not an actual 1.9 update, it acted as something of an announcement as players who generated a super flat world noticed that the snow began to create what looked like a QR code. Scanning the QR code would leak the real name of the next major update, which was known as the combat update. And this one little addition made players a lot less upset about the April Fool's update. In 2016, the developers announced the trendy update, which introduced several new changes such as the USB charger block and reality vision goggles, which when equipped in the helmet slot showed a 3D minimap of the world. More importantly, the update added the ankle monitor, arguably a very useful addition in the Minecraft community. The update also included changes to mob behavior as zombies and skeletons had a chance of being equipped with the items, and if they had on the reality goggles, they wouldn't even attack players. Having the goggles on also caused all signs to say the word obey, a creepy reference to the movie they live. The problem with this April Fool's update, however, was similar to the 2012 one, it was actually released the day before April Fool's Day, which made players question if it was actually a prank or a legitimate update. The developers, however, were quick to reassure players that it was just in fact an April 
April Fool's Day joke. It seems after 2016, the developers of the game thought to try something different. Instead of their usual in-game pranks, they made a fake announcement on both their website and YouTube channel announcing a new gaming console. The console was made to look like a Game & Watch and was called the Minecraft Digital Leisure Device. The announcement claimed that this console was very powerful and had advanced technology to create realistic simulations. However, to the disappointment of absolutely nobody, the console did not actually exist. In 2018, Minecraft's developers made one of the most significant changes to the game's visual appearance since it was released. Conveniently, this happened on April Fool's Day. The developers stated that all future versions of Minecraft would use the same textures as this new version, and they even changed the game's splash text to reflect the new look. The new textures had a different color scheme called 8-bit color, which made them look like old-fashioned video games, and this actually made the game look a lot less detailed and realistic. Some fans were actually excited to try the new version and enjoyed the retro feel, but the vast majority were heavily relieved when things turned back to normal on April 2nd. Of course, changing block textures isn't unheard of for Minecraft, making this one of the more believable pranks that Mojang has done over the past decade, but not all of their pranks were quite as convincing. 2019 saw the release of one of Minecraft's more questionable April Fool's updates. The update was described by the developers as an old version of the game that was made back in 1994, 15 years prior to the release of the actual game. In this version, the game always runs in demo mode, making realms and multiplayer completely unplayable. Of course, April Fool's updates like these are made on snapshot versions, meaning they don't work on mainstream multiplayer anyways. The demo lasted for 5 in-game days, and the player is required to do certain tasks every single day. The update also included an order sheet where players could order things such as an action figurine set, but most importantly of all, had an item called 3D which when eaten, popped up a group photo of the game's developers. The developers had gone back and forth over the years from making very interesting updates to just small little jokes, but in 2020, Minecraft players were in for something absolutely game-changing. This April Fool saw the release of a new snapshot called 20W14 Infinite, and despite being an April Fool's prank, it ended up having a much more lasting impact on the community than any other previous update. The update was called the Ultimate Content Update and really was exactly that, as by throwing in a signed book into the nether portal, players were able to enter a near infinite amount of dimensions. One of the most exciting additions from this update was the Box of Infinite Books, which generated random books for players to efficiently explore even more of the dimensions, and it also brought many new very strange blocks with it, such as the Cursor Block, which changed color every second between green and black, and the swaggiest stairs ever, which are stairs that are fully made out of netherite and are only obtainable from the dimension called Missing. The snapshot also changed various aspects of gameplay, and despite being an April Fool's joke, some of the features from the snapshot were implemented into later versions of the game. But after working so tirelessly on the 2020 update, it seemed the developers weren't really in the mood for another prank in 2021. Instead, for April Fool's Day, they decided to make their own screensaver app called Minecraft Plus. The app still exists to this day and features various screensavers with different designs and styles that are inspired by old computer screensavers. While not exactly useful or really a prank in any way, the app was still quite fun and although it left fans disappointed, this disappointment was very soon to vanish as it became extremely apparent in 2022 that Mojang had been working on something much bigger. 2022 saw the release of one of Minecraft's strangest updates ever, one block at a time. In this update, players are faced with an entirely different Minecraft experience where there's not only no inventory, but players can only hold one block at a time, hence the name of the update. Even illegal blocks like end portal frames can be held and tossed around, and the update also affected entities, which for some reason let you pick up any mob and hold it above your head. By the way, holding a chicken makes you fly. Players are also unable to perform simple mechanics in this update, such as swinging the swords, as in order to use them they must be thrown at the target. The update also removes the player's hotbar, making the gameplay even more challenging. There is one mistake in this update where you can hold a second block in your offhand, but even with this, the game is still a nightmare to play. While beating this version is close to impossible, anyone who manages to even get close and makes it all the way to the stronghold is greeted with a warm welcome from a portal that is just not there. In order to actually beat the game, end portal frames must be found from nether fortress chests and assembled one block at a time. Once in the end, players can fight the dragon all they want, but clicking on the dragon will only make you ride it into the sunset. Finally reaching 2023, Minecraft made their biggest change to date. I'm kidding, I literally have no idea. This was recorded in March.